Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would talk about uh, perfumes in my collection that have an orange blossom note. I just did uh, one for pear, and orange blossom is another common thread I'm noticing in some of my favorite fragrances. So the first one I have is Armani Code Turquoise. Yes, I bought it because the bottle is turquoise and pretty and it's one of my favorite colors. Um, and I will say, I believe this has been discontinued and I understand why. It's not an impressive performing fragrance. Um, it's really light and it doesn't project and it doesn't last long. But I actually do really enjoy wearing this to the gym. It is sweet. It has that original Armani Code DNA. Um, and so it does have that kind of honey sweetness, which I think is coming a lot from the orange blossom in here. Uh, you're not missing out on anything if you don't have this. Don't don't go buy this. That's not what I'm saying. This is just one that I have in my collection. Again, I just wear this out to the gym, and it's perfect for that. The next one I have is uh, John Paul Gaultier's Scandal by Night. Yeah, that's correct. I just have the small 30 ml bottle uh, because this was, I believe, a blind buy for me. I actually uh, wore this the other day because I knew I wanted to film this video and I didn't really have great thoughts on this because I hadn't worn it much. And what I've noticed is I've heard people saying wear it in the cold weather and I tried that and because of the cold weather, I think it suppressed some of the notes in here. It is good for cold weather because it is so thick and heavy um, that it won't overpower you. But wearing it now that we're almost in spring and it's warmed up just enough to let some of the other notes shine through, I actually really like it a lot more. Um, it is a thick, syrupy, sweet, cherry fragrance, so you do have to like that. I definitely get that orange blossom vibe from it. Um, so while I probably won't repurchase this when I'm finished, I will reach for it now that I'm we're heading towards spring a little bit most likely not in the summer unless it's a cooler summer evening and I'm going out or something like that the next one I have is Dior Pure Poison this is a citrusy white floral with the musk in the base and one of the white florals in here is orange blossom and I was actually surprised when I was going through the notes of my fragrances because it doesn't have that typical heavy um you know, syrupy sweetness that I associate with a lot of orange blossom fragrances. But this is one of my favorites. You can tell it's it's almost gone. It's actually on my tray for this month. I'm trying to use it up finally. I've had it for, uh, I think, almost two years in my collection. This is a great, clean, sexy, fresh, musky scent. I really like it for, yeah, out of the shower. And then it's great for layering, you know, wear it for a couple hours. And then later on, when you want to wear a different fragrance, you can put it right on top and there's not an issue. The next one I have is Dior uh, Poison Girl. This one has a lot more of that kind of typical orange blossom vibe that I'm anticipating from fragrances. It is thick it is sweet it's deep this is a very seductive perfume in my opinion um and while orange blossom might not be the note I pick up the most because there is a bitter orange note in the top and almond that's what I think I pick up the most when I first spray it um but there is that orange blossom again that thick uh syrupy vibe to it and then it, as it dries down it becomes a um, it's sweeter, a little deeper. I think there's tonka bean in there. I'm not positive. Um, and something powdery. I'm not sure if there's heliotrope or if, if it's the tonka bean that's making it powdery in the base. But um, I really, really love this. This is one of my favorite perfumes. And I am not surprised it has orange blossom in it. Next, I have a Prada Paradox. This is newer to my collection. It's on my tray for this month. And this definitely has, um, I think it has orange in the top and the orange blossom. So this makes it a very sweet and bright and citrusy fragrance, especially in the opening. Uh, I'm just now starting to experiment it with it more. And it's a really pretty easy reach perfume. Uh, I would say if you don't like orange blossom, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it might bother you, but I don't find this to be an overpowering um, orange blossom like in some other fragrances. Um, like I said, pretty 
easy reach. You don't have to think about it. You'll smell nice. Um, I did notice that I had to spray quite a bit before I could really smell it on my skin. I'll have to test it more to see if that's the fragrance or if that was just me being stuffy yesterday because the weather is starting to warm up and, you know, dust is starting to kick around or something. The next one I have is just a scent box fragrance. This is Parfums de Marly Safinade. I've been testing this out this month as well. Well, I should say giving it some more where I already knew what it smelled like. Um, this is an orange blossom heavy fragrance. It is thick, it is sweet, it is rich, it's luxurious. I really like this fragrance and I do plan most likely to buy a bottle once I've gone through this. I'm trying to go through my samples and decants before I buy full bottles or else these just sit here and get wasted. But I really, really love this uh, perfume and I've been wearing it uh, in the past couple of weeks or so, testing it out and it, it's very addictive. I love it. The next one I have is also a scent box uh, fragrance. This is Parfums de Marly Oriana. So this one, I um, had a small sample of it and tried it on and I, I it smells nice it's very pretty um but it didn't like blow my socks off but my boyfriend smelled it and it became his favorite perfume in my collection and my collection's not huge but it's sizable so for him to not only say it was his favorite but anytime i'm testing it immediately recognize it i wanted to get a bigger decant so i could try it out um and see if this is something i want to add to my collection so this does smell similar to Killian's Love, um, but it has a brighter, um, fruitier, fresher opening. It's a it's a lighter fragrance overall. It doesn't get as deep, um, but that orange blossom in there, I think along with the marshmallow, it kind of smells like, yeah, orange like orange blossom petals that have been like dusted with powdered sugar or something. It's it's really pretty and I think there's a raspberry note in there that does give it like a a more like refreshing type of sweetness. I, I think that's the best way I can put it. But uh, I am going to be testing this out some more. I believe this is also on my tray for the month um, just to see how I feel about it as the weather warms up because I don't think I've worn it through all the seasons to see where I really like it. And speaking of, the next one I have is Love by Killian. Um, so I bought this bottle a while ago. The juice was not this dark and it has gotten a little bit darker as the months have worn on. This is a very sweet uh, fragrance that has orange blossom in it. When I first tried this fragrance, Ugh, I think, I can't even remember when I got the discovery set. I probably like 2019, 2020 maybe. And I had, you know, I put a spritz on. I'd heard so many good reviews about it. I was really excited to try it, spritz it on and immediately said, no, thank you. And it had to scrub like crazy to get this off. This lasted, or at least that sample lasted on my skin <laughs> all day. Um, and it made me so nauseous. It was so cloying. I did not understand how anybody liked this perfume. Um, Anyway, probably over a year later, I was going through the uh, sample box, trying another one and seeing, um, I think I was testing out like the more unisex leaning fragrances. And I decided to, I actually noticed that the juice in the sample had gotten quite a bit darker, which I was curious about because I hadn't had any experience with that. So I spritzed it on just to give it a try to see what that was, maybe it had gone bad or something. And when I tell you, that I did a complete 180 on my opinion of this fragrance. It was still very sweet, but it also had this depth and this richness and this sexiness to it. Um, it's I find it to be incredibly intoxicating, and now I completely understand what everyone was talking about it. I don't know if all of that is just my nose maturing over the years, or if a lot of that is due to the fragrance having a chance to sit and macerate for several months, um, and then bringing out some of the deeper, uh, more sultry notes in it. But I love it. I bought a full bottle um, and actually wore this 
the other day and could not stop sniffing myself. So I will say not a safe blind buy at all. Um, even if you like this category of fragr fragrance, not it's not safe. Um, but if you can get a sample of it, try it out. Try it in different seasons to see where you like it. This actually could be a good signature scent. I find I can wear it year round. I have tried it in all four seasons. And while I don't spray as much of it in the summertime, a spritz or two, is perfect and it smells really beautiful when the heat kind of warms up some of those other notes. I love this one. The next one I have, I talk about in almost every single video. It's one of my favorites, so I won't talk about it too long. This is Kayali's Deja Vu White Flower. This is a white floral fragrance, so it does not surprise me that orange blossom is in it. And it's not one of those thick, syrupy, sweet, um, heavy orange blossoms, uh, blossom notes like in some of the other fragrances. So I don't particularly smell that it's in there, but this perfume does have a uh, addictive and thick quality to it that does, makes me understand that yes, orange blossom is in here. But again, it's not something I I pick out specifically. Actually, this is really well blended. If I didn't know what was in here, I wouldn't be able to tell you what white florals were in this perfume. Not a safe blind buy, a lot of people don't like it, um, but uh, with the fruits in the opening, I find it to be juicy, addictive, sweet, perfect for the springtime, depending on where you live, possibly the summertime as well, just not for me, it becomes a little too heavy. And the last one I have is YSL's Lieb Intense. Um, so I had the original Lieb, then tried this one and sold the original because I liked this one so much more. So I pick up the lavender first and foremost in this fragrance. And then once it's like on my skin for a couple minutes, then the orange blossom really starts shining through. It is beautiful, it is sweet. Uh, not too cloyingly sweet in my opinion. Um, but definitely has that orange blossom characteristic in it. I find this also to be very sexy. I think I've gotten a compliment every single time I've worn this. It's sultry. It's really beautiful. It projects well. It lasts a long time. Um, and well, I don't know that I would use this as my signature scent because, because of the, the tone, there's definitely times where I just like to feel light and fresh and clean. That is not this at all. Um, but I think it's safe for everyday use for sure, um, depending on how much you spritz. It just, yeah, it's something that when I smell it, I just keep wanting to smell it. I wish I actually had a friend who would wear this one so I could, you know, smell it on somebody else um, and not just myself when I happen to reach for this. But this is a very, very beautiful orange blossom perfume. Not a safe blind buy at all. Um, some people will find it too overwhelming. I think some people might find it masculine because of the lavender note in there. I don't. I don't think of lavender as being a masculine note, but I know some people do, and it is used in a ton of male fragrances, so that's completely um, understandable. But this is a very beautiful, sexy uh, perfume. And I do love the bottle. I was trying to find a 50 ml. This is the 100 ml, but I couldn't. And yeah, I'm fine with this one. I, I know eventually I will get through it even though I have a ton of other perfumes in my collection. I can't even stop sniffing it now. It's so nice. Okay, here are my perfumes that feature a note of orange blossom. If you have any recommendations for me, please leave them down below. Uh, now that I've discovered that that's a note that I really gravitate towards, I'm looking for new fragrances that are not redundant, right? So nothing that smells like what I already have in my collection to sample out, try, and possibly add in. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.